Hello guys, it's Mark from Phonesmith and today we'll be removing the FRP on the ZTE Z828. So, and first start off by entering your Wi-Fi password or connecting to a hotspot anywhere that's local or around you. Damn, that's a long password I use. God, I need to change that store password. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Checking connection. This can take a while. So you can skip that as well. This can take a while. God, still taking a while. Software update. All right, we're almost there. Yay. Oh, and there goes the screen we've been waiting on. This is the Google lock screen, which is frustrating. Device was reset, blah, 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 blah. All right, so just go to your keyboard, tap on the at sign at the bottom, drag it up so you can get that box. Click Google Keyboard Settings, go to Text Correction, now go up to Personal Dictionary, click English United States, now go to the Add button at the top right, enter GGG, go to the search icon, click G again, now click Google Voice Typing. From here on, you just want to go to Text to Speech Output. Now you're gonna click on that little setting gear thing next to Google Text to Speech. Now go ahead, go to install voice data. Then go to the top three boxes, the, the little top three dots, <coughs> and go to open source licenses. <laughs> now put your finger over speech, highlight it, go to the search icon at the top right. Now delete speech out of the search bar and then type in F for file manager which you'll see and you just want to click on that now these files that I am using they will, they will be in the description uh, all you got to do is just put on SD card or just drag them to the phone with the USB so first you want to just go to settings it's gonna bring you to settings because we never allowed unknown sources we'll, we'll go back to um, file manager click that again we'll install FRP bypass first After it's installed, we'll just want to click done. Do not open it. After that, let's go to Quick Shortcut Maker. And we'll just want to click Package Installer, click Open, and then we'll want to install that one as well. Okay. So now, I played around a little bit. I just typed in Google in the search bar. After that, I click Search or Enter, and nothing happened. So I did it again, <laughs> and I think I did it again. <laughs> I was playing with it just because it wasn't popping up. So I just went to applications at the top. I clicked that one, went back to activity just to like refresh it. And then I typed deep, I typed G by accident, I deleted it, and I click enter, and there it go, it popped up. So now we we'll want to go to the fifth one. It says Google account manager type email and password. That one right there, the fifth one. After that, I click try. Now go to the top three dots at the top right. Browser sign in, click OK. Now you'll want to use your own Google account or Google account that you don't really care about. It doesn't really matter, but just enter your Google account because now we're going to register it to a new Google account. So now you can have access to the phone after we're done with this. I'm pretty much here. You're almost literally, you're almost done with the whole process. It's really a um, simple. Uh, it's, it's it was it was not too difficult doing this. Um, I did see a few um, other tutorials that really guided me to get this solution. So I really you know I gotta give credit where it's supposed to be given to. You know what I'm saying so. After the, you're done installing and getting your Google account, now you want to restart your device. After you restart it, it's gonna go through that little Metro and everything stuff. ZTE. Also, like I was saying, um, the files will be in the description with instructions as well, and written and written written out. After that, um, you can either drag the files to the phone by connecting it to the USB. It doesn't matter if it has a Google on it; it doesn't matter. Just drag it to the phone, or you can just get your SD card and put those two files on there. Then you can install it from there.
I would just want to go through the setup. Click skip. Checking connection. This can take up to two minutes. All right, now I'll click next. And this is where this is where the beauty happens. Skip. Skip anyway. Click more twice. One, two. Then click next. After that, you're home free. Click got it. Now you can either go to the all apps and to the app button, or you just slide down to get to your settings. After you get to settings, you just want to look for backup and reset, and then you'll be good to go. So thank you guys for tuning in once again. Um, I really hope this um, tutorial helped you guys, and give it a thumbs up, subscribe, like, give us a good comment. Um, thank you and have a great day. Appreciate you guys.